السلام علیکم برادرس اینڈ سسٹرس اینڈ فرینڈس آئی ہوپ ایوری ون از فائن ود دا بلیسنگ آف آل مائی ٹی اللہ سو ود آؤٹ اینی ڈیلے لیٹ اسٹارٹ ٹو ڈیز ویڈیو The question is, does God practice Judaism? Nausbillah. Yeah, he does. We know he does. Does he practice Christianity? No. Why? Because he rests on the seventh day. <laughs> Nonsense. <laughs> right? He, sa he, says, I he says, I created the world in six days and I rest on the, it's my day of rest. So he practices Judaism. At least that one mitzvah we know for sure. <laughs> yes. Yes. No, with us. Astaghfirullah. Just like we consecrate ourselves to him, he's consecrated. <laughs> two ways. It's got to be two. His wish list. The Jews uh, believe in the Old Testament. Night video watched and, uh, and, uh, The Christians don't uh, follow the Old Testament. What is the logic behind this? And uh, can you explain, I mean, uh, why they don't consider the Old Testament important and is the New Testament that they uh, take into consideration when the Jews take on to the Old Testament? The Buddha is saying the Jews take on to the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. The Christians, they're supposed to follow the Old Testament. Why do they only take on to the New Testament? Brother, just as I outlined, the Bible is in two parts, the Old Testament and New Testament. Old Testament deals with the lifestyle of the prophets that came before Jesus Christ, peace mm. be upon him. New Testament, it starts the life of Jesus, peace be upon him, and about his apostles and all. So there are two divisions. Now, the Jews are supposed to follow the Torah, the Psalms, everything that's there. That is the complete Old Testament. Mm. So Jews are sticking to that. Now, as far as the Christians are concerned, theoretically they have to follow both. If they don't follow both, the whole Christianity will fall apart. Why? Because whatever is in the New Testament, it is based on the Old Testament. Mm. The prophecy of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, they claim that he is God, so whatever they claim. So their claim is only supported by the prophecy of the Old Testament, which we disclaim. We say these prophecies are about the prophet coming, not about a God yes. coming. Based on the Old Testament is the New Testament built. Without the Old Testament, the New Testament on its own doesn't have any value. So many of the Christians don't know about this. So theoretically, without the Old Testament, for Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says, In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 5, verse number 17 to 20. Think not that I have come to destroy the law and the prophets. Mm. I have come not to destroy but to fulfill. Till heaven and the earth pass away, not one jot or tittle can pass away from the law and all be fulfilled. And whosoever shall break one of the least commandments shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. Mm. And whosoever shall keep the commandments and treat the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Unless your righteousness exceeds the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees, in no way shall you enter the kingdom of heaven. So according to Jesus Christ, unless you are not more pure than the Jews, unless you don't follow all the laws mm. and commandments of the Jews, you cannot go to paradise. So if you take out the laws of the Jews, how can you go to paradise? Yeah. So according to Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, the New Testament is built on the Old Testament. Mm. So theoretically, they have to follow. If they don't follow, they cannot be a good Christian. They cannot enter paradise. So they have to... Sorry? No, they have to say theoretically. But practically, when we argue with them and prove to them that from the Old Testament, we come to know about the Prophet of Muhammad No, we don't follow the Old Testament. These people who don't have much knowledge... Brother and sisters, if you are enjoying today's video, then it's a request to you guys. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. So whenever a new video will be published, you will get its notification first. So let's continue watching today's video. But a knowledgeable person cannot say that. Because if they don't follow the Old Testament, the New Testament itself carries no weight. Yes. Because if the New Testament says that you have to follow what is in the law of the Musa Alayhi Salaam. Read the Gospel of Matthew, Gospel of John, Gospel of all these Gospels, what GSK said. That it has been said of the old times. Thou shall not commit adultery, but I say unto you. So what has been said of the old mm. times? Something Jesus Christ has made his own statements. But as a whole, he said that you have to follow each and every law mm. of the Old Testament. If you break one jot or tittle, you shall not enter Jannah. Yes. So if you don't have that law, how can you follow? <laughs> so theoretically and practically, they have to follow, but they don't do it. Mm. So theoretically, they may give importance, but practically... When you argue with them, those who have less knowledge, 
Then they say, okay, we only followed New Testament. So we can even prove about Muhammad mm -hmm. Sallallahu from the New Testament. We can prove Jesus Christ was not crucified, peace be upon him, from the New Testament. Yes. If you are well versed with comparative religion, even without the Old Testament, you can yet convince them what is now from the New Testament. If you are well versed. But actually, practically, they have to follow both. Hope that answers the question. Mm. They do not recognize that book, Gospel of Barnabas, as authentic. They say it's a fabrication. To me, wisdom demands yeah. that we leave the book one side. Because Allah is asking us to demand proof from the Christian and the Jews about anything. Hatu burhanakum. And the burhan they produced is not Barnabas, but this book. Yeah. This is his burhan. So I say, use this. And wallah, you can use this very effectively. You can't get out. He said, this is not my book. This is your burhan. He said, yes. So let's see. You open the Gospel of St. John. Injile Yohanna, they call it. Chapter 7, verse 14. And you read there. La kinni, in Arabic. I learned it for you people. La kinni akulu lakumul haq. Innahu khairul lakum. In antalika. Li allahu illa mantalik. La yatikumul muazzi. Walakin in zahabtu ursilhu ilaykum. In English, it says, nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the comforter will not come unto yeah. you. But if I go, I will send him. I was asking a Christian lady, who is this Muazzi? Yeah. And she said, I don't know. She was honest. She was humble. She says, I don't know. So I said, you see, in the Quran, we are told that Hazrat Isa, alayhi salam, he told his Hawariyun, his disciples, وَمُبَشِّرًا بِرَسُولِي يَأْتِي مِنْ بَعْدِ اسْمُهُ أَحْمَدِ And giving glad tidings mm. of a messenger to come after me whose name shall be Ahmad which is another name yeah. for Muhammad and Muhammad is Muazzi Wallah, it is so easy take a little trouble use his Burhan the one he uses don't look for Barnabas or somebody else or somebody else this is his Burhan the Bible use his Bible against him there is no better way to give battle to the enemy than with his own mm. weapons. And there are so many. You get these booklets, you'll find so many other references that you can use, inshallah. Brothers and sisters, I hope you have watched today's video and I hope you like the answers of Dr. Zatya Knight because Dr. Zatya Knight always gives answers according to Quran and Hadith. I hope you have watched his video till end. So in the first part of today's video, we have watched a video of Jewish Rabbi who was starting, who was talking to some people in an interview and a question was asked to him that what religion God follows. So after listening his question, he started laughing and then he said that God also practice Judaism. Astaghfirullah. Because he said that Judaism is the oldest religion. That's why God is also follow the rules of Judaism. So guys, what do you think about his statement? Please let us know by giving your comments below. After that, we have watched the video of Dr. Zatan Knight, in which Dr. Zatan Knight also told us that which was the religion of and which is the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What religion Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent through his messengers and through his prophet, Dr. Zatan Knight proved it from Quran and Hadith. So what do you think about today's video? Please let us know by giving your comments below. If you are satisfied with the answers of Dr. Zatan Knight, then it's a request to you guys. Please share this video with your friend and family members so they can get benefit from it. And other request, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. So whenever a new video will be published, you will get its notification first. So see you guys in next video. Till then, Allah Hafiz.